our greatest sporting heroes, Sir Andy Murray, Dame Kelly Holmes, Top Gear's Freddie Flintoff. Apparently, you played cricket. Jack Whitehall's Sporting Nation continues Friday at 8.30 on BBC One and iPlayer. This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. Tributes to John Hume, the Nobel Peace Prize winner who helped to end the troubles in Northern Ireland. He's died at the age of 83. I, I have to say on this sad day that we wouldn't have the peace that we enjoy today if it wasn't for John Hume. His contribution to peace in Northern Ireland was extraordinary. I don't think we would ever have really got the peace process going and implemented. Spain's former King Juan Carlos decides to leave the country following allegations of corruption against him. New 90-minute tests for coronavirus and flu are to be rolled out next week in hospitals in England. In Italy, Genoa's new bridge is officially reopened, replacing the one that collapsed two years ago. And eat out to help out. From today, diners in the UK can get a discount of up to £10 each to boost the struggling hospitality sector. Hello and welcome to BBC News. A political giant, a champion of peace, and one of Ireland's greatest ever sons. Leading figures from around the world have been paying tribute to the Nobel Peace Prize winner and Northern Ireland politician John Hume, who's died. He was 83. He was key to ending decades of violence in Northern Ireland, which killed thousands of people. Tony Blair, who was Prime Minister when the Good Friday Peace Agreement was signed in 1998, described him as a visionary who...